Hello guys, this is Asif and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can start, stop and check the status of Oracle eBusiness Suite services. That means we are going to start, stop and check the status of database services, listener services, core services, web services, form services and concurrent processing server. So let's get started and see how we can do it. I am in Linux environment and on this machine I have installed Oracle eBusiness Suite release 12.1. I am going to open a simple terminal. First of all, I will log in as the owner of database, that is SU Aura PBA. Then I will open a new terminal and I will log in into this terminal as the owner of application tier. First, I will check whether the environment is set or not. So, environment is not set, so I will set the environment. To set the environment, I need to execute environment file which exists in Oracle Home, that is RDBMS Home. So, I will go into Oracle Home, which is This is my Oracle home and I will execute environment file which is dev underscore linux dot env. Now the environment should be set and we will verify it by executing the same command which is this one. Now you can see the environment has been set. After that, I can execute. I can execute a command which is addbctl to start up the database, or I can log in into SQL Server uh, SQL window and start the database. I will go the complex way, which is addbctl. So I will go to cd apps util scripts dev, and the command name is addbctl dot sh start is the parameter so it will start the database Now the database has been started, now is the point where I need to start the listener. To start the listener, I will execute the command addlnctl.sh start and dev is the name of the database. So the listener has also been started. Now at this point our database is up and running. Now we are in a position where we can start our Oracle eBusiness Suite services. So this is the user which is Aura Ape who is the owner of Oracle application tier. As you can see the environment of this user is not set. So we will set the environment by execute uh, by executing environment file which exists in Oracle Home of application tier which is CDU01 and the file is 
APPS Dave underscore Linux which has set the environment. Now I will execute the same statement to verify whether the environment has been set or not. So here you can see that environment has been set. Now I will go into a directory where startup scripts are stored which is admin script home clear the screen and ls so these are the scripts which can be used to start up shut down and check the status of application services i will just clear the screen and start application services one by one so first of all I will start core services which is ADOA core CTL dot SH start apps is username apps is password and here we go it has been started it means status 0 means it has been started successfully now, now I will verify whether it has been started or not using ADOPMN uh, service utility ADOPMN CTL search status apps apps so it shows date OC4J OA core is alive which we have just started now we will start the rest of the services just clear the screen the second one is ad oa fm ctl dot sh start apps apps AD FORMS CTL dot SH start F F that will start form services. Now we will start application server which is AD APCCTL dot SH start F F. Now we will verify whether all Four services have been started or not using ADOPMN, which is ADOPMNCTL.sh status apps apps. So now you can see all the services are alive except concurrent manager, which we are going to start with ADCMCTL. ADCMCTL.sh start apps apps. It has started concurrent manager also. Now we are in a position where our database is up and running. Our all the application services are up and running and we can access eBusiness Suite through internet browser. HTTP Linux is the name of server, server domain and 8000. So you can see that all our services are up and running and up our Oracle eBusiness Suite is accessible from uh, internet browser. And if you want, you can check the status through ADOPMNCTL sh status apps apps so this is one of the way how we can start our application services now we will check the status of these services one by one ad o a core
so here you can see it's showing now we can we will shut down these services before doing that let's just log in this admin is username this admin is password So here you can see all our services are up and we can access internet, uh, we can access EBS through browser. Now we will shut down these services using these same commands which is ad cm ctl sh stop apps apps will stop the concurrent manager. Now we will stop form services or we can stop ad uh, application services now we will stop oafmctl search stop apps apps Stop phone services. AD four MCTN dot SH stop. Yes, yes. AD four MS CTN SH. Now we will stop core services. So now all our services are stopped and we can check the status of these services using ADOPMN. CTL SH status apps, apps. So you can see all the services are down and if you will access the Oracle eBusiness Suite environment using internet browser it will not be accessible because all the services are down. Now there is another way to start these services and which uh, date way is more simple which I will show you. It is adstartal.sh script which will start all the services uh, one by one and you do not need to start each services individually so we will start the services using ad start adstartal.sh x is username x is password it will start all the services So all the services are started. Now we will check the status of services using adopmnctl.sh status apps is username apps is password and it will show that all the services along with concurrent manager are active and are running. Now we will shut down all these services using a single command which is adstpal.sh F is username, F is password and it will stop all these services.
once these services are restored we will be in a position where we can shut down our database using same command that is adcmctl dot sh stop hypothesis username or just stop sorry the command is adcmctl dot sh stop once our database is down we will shut down the listener So here you can see our database is down. Now we will shut down the listener. A D D L N C T L stop. That will shut down the listener. Exit from here. Exit from here. And this is how we can start, stop, and check the status of Oracle eBusiness Suite services. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.